Right now, I am standing in Pura Basaki, located on the southern slopes of Mount Agung. This temple is also known as Bali's Mother Temple, and it has been around since the 8th century, with the earliest mentions of it dating back to 1007 AD. Pura Basaki's original name was Pura Basukian, meaning safe, and re refers to the dragon deity Naga Basukian that is believed to inhabit Mount Agung. The name also originated from Vasuki in the ancient Sanskrit language and it was called Vasuki in the ancient Javanese language. However, the name evolved, eventually changing to Basaki. So how did all of this begin? Well, during the 8th century, a Hindustani monk in the area was in isolation when he had revelations to build homes for people. While many died during the building process because of illnesses or accidents, it was named Basuki when completed. Then, a few years later, Rasi Markandeya came to Bali from Mount Raung in eastern Java in order to complete his holy duties of clearing out the forest and creating an irrigation system in this sacred place. However, during his first trip to Bali, many of his followers became sick and died which led him to return to Mount Raung to carry out Tapa Brata Yoga Samadhi, or a meditation where you focus your mind on God. After this, Rasi Markandeya received a sign that he must come to Bali to Mount Tolangkir, now known as Mount Agung. With this sign, he also realized that he must perform a ritual at this location. When Rasi Markandeya arrived in Bali for the second time, he followed his guide and carried out a ritual in Pura Basukian before performing his holy duties. 200 years later, in 1007 AD, King Udayana ruled Bali while his son King Airlanga ruled East Java. King Airlanga had decided for Empu Barada, his teacher, to visit Bali and Basaki. After Empu Barada arrived in Basaki, he built a place of worship now known as Pura Merajan Kangan to ask for divine guidance and light from Ida Sangyang Widiwasa. Afterwards, in 1343, Sri Aji Kresna Kepakisan ruled Bali and his government looked after Pura Basaki. They even made an inscription that gives hints about Pura Basaki, its ceremonies, and its history. The first inscription was issued in 1444, then, 14 years later, another inscription was published. These inscriptions are critical as they can be used as a reference when arranging the timeline of the existence of Pura Basaki. These inscriptions are considered to be an important symbol and it is shown every year during the ceremony of Batara Turun Kabe. Then, under the government of King Dalam Waturengong, many holy people came from the island of Java to visit Pura Basaki. One of these people, Dang Hyang Nirarta, arrived in Pura Basaki and had ideas to make Pura Basaki even better as the palace of Ida Sang Hyang Widiwasa. Because of this, he created Padmasana, or the Lotus Throne, to complete the existence of Palingi, and it was later perfected. Dang Hyang Nirarta then continued on his journey, spreading Hinduism around Bali. Over the centuries, as 25 different temples in the complex have been built and an additional 86 clan temples and shrines, this makes Pura Basaki the largest temple in Bali. A temple this big comes with 120 yearly ceremonies and some infrequent and special ones. The three main temples in Pura Basaki are Pura Penataran Agung, Pura Kiduling Kretek, and Pura Batu Madek. Firstly, Pura Penataran Agung is dedicated to Shiva, the destroyer or transformer. This is the largest temple in the Basaki complex, and it is made from different areas, each with its shrines representing the seven layers of the universe. Then, Pura Batu Madek is dedicated to Brahma, the creator. This temple is also known as the Temple of the Erect Stone, and it faces Gunung Agung. Additionally, Pura Kiduling Kretek, also known as Temple East of the Bridge, is dedicated to Vishnu, the Preserver. Each of these temples represent a deity in the Hindu Triumvirate, or Trimurti. Then, you have four other temples, each representing a deity governing their compass point. Pura Batu Madek represents North, Pura Gelap represents East, Pura Kiduling Kretek represents South, and Pura Ulun Koko represents West. 
In Pura Penataran Agung, there are three Patmasana, or lotus thrones, arranged side by side, dedicated to the godhead Ida Sanghyang Widiwasa, as manifest in the triple persona of Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu. These lotus thrones are a sacred place of worship that could sometimes lead to tens of thousands of worshippers, especially during the festival of Batara Turun Kabeh, which means the gods descend together. This festival lasts for a whole month, and it is believed that the gods of all temples in Bali reside in the main sanctuary at Pura Basaki. Pura Basaki is also home to a significant Balinese ceremony known as Eka Dasda Rudra, held once every century. This ceremony is also known as the purification of the universe. It aims to lessen the anger and win the favor of Rudra, a deity who is associated with disease, plagues, tempestuous winds, and other natural diseases. The peak of the ceremony is the immense blood sacrifice, where one of every creature that is indigenous to this island should be sacrificed. The last time the ceremony took place, representatives of some 85 different species were sacrificed. During the celebrations of Eka Dasda Rudra in 1963, Gunung Agung erupted, causing a massive loss of life and the destruction of villages. However, the lava flow came to a pause just before touching Purabasaki, and this became interpreted as the wrath of the gods, who were either displeased by how the ceremony was conducted, or by the timing of the ceremony, because it was being held during a time of great political tension in Indonesia. In 1979, the ceremony was carried out again, and it included the presence of President Suharto. As the biggest temple in Bali, Purabasaki is rich with history and it holds a great importance for Balinese society. Although the pandemic has made the community adapt to unfamiliar situations, Purabasaki will always remain true to its name, providing a safe setting.